Hey you guys, it's August the 22nd today and I hope that everyone is alright. Beautiful day in Banff. Uh, actually I don't think there's been a single bad day in Banff. Even when it rains and snows it's nice here. Even then thunderstorms are beautiful. So uh, yeah, I don't think there is actually a bad day here. The weather's always nice. For me, anyway. But I'm a... Uh, I mean, it's, well, I'm, I'm a fan of the colder weather, of the wet weather, all that sort of thing. So, as you can imagine, this isn't particularly my kind of thing. But, at the same time, I can appreciate that most people seem to think that sun and warmth and niceness and they're nice for whatever reason. I'd be inclined to argue. But hey, that's not why we're here. Why we are here is... A few days ago I had my, uh, I think I had my homesick moment. It was a bit of a bad night. There's been a few things going on, actually, that I haven't really spoken about yet. Hence why I'm out in the, uh, the middle of the wilderness. I'd say wilderness. There's still a road and you can still hear cars, <laughs> you know, but it's, it's away from people. So the... Well, I guess the first thing, seeing as how I'm kind of doing it at the moment anyway, is itching and things like that, right? Can you see that on my neck and stuff? Like, that's, that's not the only bit, like, all up my arms and things, it's a bit of an awkward angle, but they're not looking so bad now. But, um, my room had a bit of a infestation of bed bugs and, or at least some kind of biting bug that was in my bed while I was sleeping and just eating me alive. Um, initially I just thought it was all mosquito bites and stuff, but when it wasn't going away after a few weeks, I kind of had a bit of a change of heart. Uh, so that's, that's, ooh, ooh, don't want to, ooh, definitely don't want to fall. Um, <laughs> so it's a little bit kind of demoralizing, you know, and there was one night where it was particularly bad. Well, I've, I've been sleeping on the couch in our room for the past couple nights, um, and they still found their way to me, damn it. So it's kind of demoralizing to try and just just sort of deal with um, you know just scratching uncontrollably it's not nice unlike the view however which is absolutely phenomenal as always but yeah that's a it's not particularly pleasant um, and it's just been getting me down. There's exterminators currently nuking my room at the moment to try and get rid of them. Uh, I'm staying in a room in the hotel for a few nights and it's a damn nice room as well actually. I must remind myself to to video some of that. We're understaffed at work, or we were, and so I've been pulling in a lot of hours. One day off a week, working six days and stuff like that, which I haven't inherently got a problem with. You know, I, I don't mind working, it's all money at the end of the day, isn't it? But the the main issue is that I've spent a lot of time back in the UK being worked and treated like a machine. And I did not fly all this way to have the same thing happen. So that's been winding me up a little bit because it's kind of been moving in that direction that all kind of built on plus a load of other things as well and it was late at night it was like 2 30 3 a.m so that would have been like 10 a.m back home I sort of sent a message to mum and dad i think i want to come home i was in debt as well i'm <laughs> this is an odd thing i owed like 150 bucks to my bank but they couldn't work out why i owed them money so <laughs> I, and I couldn't go there because I got the letter about it on Friday, 17 days or whatever, or like a month after it was supposed to have been repaid. Like I, I had the letter come through and it was dated for July or whatever it was, at the start of July. And he said, please pay within six days. This is your final warning. Didn't have any prior notes from them. And then I get the letter like mid-August. So that caused me a load of panic. I wanted to go and pay it on the Friday, but I couldn't because I finished work at 4.30 and the bank shut at 5 and I had no time to get to the bank. And then it shut Saturday, Sunday, so I had to wait until Monday. And I paid it. And now I keep missing calls from my bank to uh, 
tell me about the outcome and stuff but yeah that was weighing down on me student finance have found me from the uk they want money out of my canadian paycheck to pay for my student loan it's all up in the air i had a chat with mum and dad over skype and i spoke to taylor and jay as well back home and things like that um and it's kind of put my mind at rest you know all the problems and stuff are kind of being sorted out now like i say my room's being nuked to get rid of the bugs the debt's been paid so that's not an issue we've got more people starting at work now so everything should kind of clear up but i i, I still don't know if i want to cut the trip short or not that's the that's the killer question i don't like look right <laughs> well why would i want to cut this short right you see behind me it's just a massive mountain there around the corner boom there's another mountain why would i want to leave this i don't of course i don't there's a lot of things i miss being at home i don't know if i'm getting anything out of being here other than the fact that it's amazing scenery nice clean air and living healthier you know eating properly drinking loads of water stuff that i should be doing <laughs> that's the that's the thing you see i i've tried to reflect upon it i've tried to say to myself well why did i come out here in the first place if i can work out why i came out here in the first place then i can work out whether or not i have either a gotten out of this trip what i needed to get out of this trip or b if i'm not getting anything out of it am i going to and it's that first question that i can't answer why did i come out here not in a kind of oh my god why did i come out here it sucks sort of way just a you know why if i can work out why i came out here then i can work out how to move on from there and I've found my mind through loads of possibilities and none of them seem to fit entirely on their own. Man, I always complained about walking up that hill to work back home. Different kettle of fish when you're walking up a mountain. <laughs> in fact, if you remember back earlier in the video, I'm sure I put it in the video, recorded something from the top of Norquay Mountain. There's like a little bump in the landscape. That's the mountain we're climbing now. That's how tall Norquay was. It was massive and yet it still feels so high but yeah anyway i the possibilities i'm kind of running around in my head are that i came out here to do something different which i haven't done yet <laughs> you know I've, I've done things that i wouldn't normally get to do at home but nothing kind of nothing different to what i've done before is that, is that what's causing me problems? I, I don't know if it is. I don't know if that's what it is. Or is it that I'm missing everyone back home? It's definitely that. But that's uh, I, the kind of flip side of that is, because I've just realised the question that I'm actually supposed to be answering. Why did I come out here? Did I come out here to get away from, from home? You know, from the UK, from friends family places people work just to be somewhere different you know it's not that anyone or anywhere did anything wrong it was just mundane needed to do something else and something drastic and i've done that absolutely you know here i am in the middle of the canadian wilderness not quite the can well i guess whatever here i am right in the middle of canada in the middle of nowhere it's pretty different it's pretty different to back home and if that's what i did come out here to do to just get away have i achieved that yeah i have so if that's the only oh, there's a tour bus coming if that's the only reason why i came out here then i could feasibly go home the only thing is even if i decide yep what well, if i find out if i if i work out what the answers are to my questions i've then got to go right now i'm going to go home early and there's a stigma with that it's not a particularly bad stigma well i don't even know if 
that's the right word I'm aiming for but maybe pressure is more of the word there's there's a pressure to stay out here um, from the point of view of like, I, I asked people back home it's like would you be disappointed if I came home early and they all said no not at all if you're not enjoying it or whatever then there's no point staying out there come back I believe them but at the same time it's kind of like I don't know if I do you know I there's a uh, I think there's an expectation for me to stay out here for as long as for as long as possible for a year two years and I don't know about that it feels like a kind of failure to call it quits early not that this necessarily matters to any of you guys because you'll see the video when you see it and I'll have either caved in on everything I've said and come home early or I'll have rebelled and stuck it out. See, I mean, there's the other thing as well, even you guys, right? So I said, yeah, I'm going out there on this trip, it'll be for like a year, two years. You know, I'll take you with me and we'll have an, all these amazing adventures of film loads and it'll be, it'll be great. We'll, uh, I'm not very fit. <laughs> you know, we'll film loads, it would be amazing, it would be the vlogging spectacle of the channel. You know, it'll <laughs> we'll get up to so many crazy things and do some pretty awesome stuff. And then it would almost be like not delivering on that, which I, I don't feel too good about. You know, if I've said, yeah, we're going to do all of these things, and then, I mean, it probably wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> that I've done it, I guess, if we're honest, but easy. Yeah, I just, I don't really know what I want to do at the moment. The upside is that, you know, I have to stay out here and work it out. So every day that passes will give me another reason to either stay or leave. It's as simple as that. There's a lot to think about. And I can't necessarily think about it right now. <laughs> I'll maybe have another breather when I get to the top and see see what to do from there. I bet my vlogging technique's been appalling, by the way. I haven't haven't vlogged for a while, so uh, I bet it's all fallen to pieces. Sorry. My excuse is I'm not on particularly even terrain. Didn't stop me on the cycling trip in Benidorm, but. I just like, held you on the handlebars for that, so it kind of cheated a little bit. It's the 4th of September, Tuesday the 4th, and like the amazing vlogger that I am, I forgot to show you the hotel room I was staying in. I say was because uh, I've been found a new room to stay in. So this is kind of, this is where I have been staying. So I've got like a nice sort of living space right here complete with fireplace, which I didn't use because I don't trust myself. <laughs> I don't trust myself to light a fire. I, well, it's not that I don't trust myself to light a fire, it's just I don't trust myself to not burn down the whole building. Especially what with Canada currently going up in flames not too far from here anyway, I didn't really want to add to the problem. Uh, two queen-size beds, uno e dos. Um, that's the one I've obviously been sleeping in because it's all messy. Um, and that's pretty much it. Got a nice big old TV right there. That was the front door leading outwards. A little closet right here and the bathroom right here. Nice, uh, nice little bathroom. Got some nice variable dimmer lights right here. <laughs> they don't really pulse fast enough for a club. And then we got the actual bath shower right there. Complete with extractor fan. That's uh, that's pretty much it. But yeah, I've got to continue packing up the last few pieces of my stuff and moving on to my new place. Hey guys, it's the 14th of September and that makes it Thursday. Mount Cascade's got snow on it. Winter's on the way. Yeah, it is. I'm looking forward to it. What's also on the way 
Ben's on the way. Good buddy Ben's flying in tomorrow. And I've got to work. And I've got to work the day after. But 17th, 18th and 19th, we're going to be hanging out around Banff, going and doing a couple of cool things and we'll see what's going on. And then he flies back home on the 20th. I have to work. So thanks to my boss for that. Can't be helped, but it does kind of suck anyway. Still, never mind. Just thought I'd let you know that that's going to be happening over the next few days. I'm also in a new room now. I can't remember if I've told you that or not, but I am. And it's a bit nicer than my old room, which is cool. Hey guys, it's Sunday the 17th of September. Ben is finally here, not currently here, but he's he is here, he's in the bathroom. Uh, this is his car that he's hired since he's been out here. It's quite a nice thing. Uh, we're heading off to Lake Louise today, and that ought to be pretty cool, and Lake Moraine as well. We're gonna see what's going on and take some sights in. Some sights like this, but maybe a bit lower to the ground and a little bit more water filled because that's what lakes are. Check out the snow shelves up there, by the way. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it does. Are you still recording? Yeah. It's the wonders of modern technology. I swear. If you want, yeah. Pretty fucking phenomenal. I know. Now this feels even more like Skyrim. I'm sure there's a scene in, like a place in Skyrim that's exactly like this. I've not played the game that much, so I can't comment for sure, but I'm sure I've seen scenes that look like this. <laughs> this can only end one of two ways. Place your bets. Looks like a heron. I'm trying to work out how how viable an option it is. He's asked me to take photos, so I'm gonna take like a couple as he goes. No? You can do it. Come on. You're only here. Are you done? To be fair, actually, it looks pretty cool.
problem is photo and video will never really do it justice, will yeah. it? <laughs> you don't get an idea of just how blue the water is and how how massive everything is in comparison. It is really cold. Oh my god! Oh it was only like four degrees plus wind chill. Oh man. give it a go if you want but you probably still shouldn't <laughs> this way to the show you master Frodo <laughs> look up though above your head oh, no. like <laughs> <laughs> you said that with a barb of sarcasm there, that was as if I'm not good at climbing. That was a gen general view. Oh, okay. As opposed to me specifically. Yes. Because I'm kind of good at climbing. Got long limbs, you see. Jasper may have been a bit of a bust, but uh, not all bad, eh? It's just breathtaking. The fact it hadn't snowed on the way here, and now it has, just completely changes the landscape. It's pretty bad.
Uh, oh, good timing. <laughs> Take that one. <laughs> I don't know if that was yours, but. This is the 19th now. We're up Mount Norway. I think Ben's going to drive off without me, which is fine because they do a shuttle back down anyway. And we've already been here before on this trip, although it wasn't as snowy. It just looks like a little blob from up the top. No, <laughs> you can't. It's not even any wind. There's no wind. The water's not even making noise. I can't believe how you can just see to the bottom of the bed. Yeah. It's rolling around to winter now, guys. I think you need a new coat. This one's, uh, this one's getting a bit battered. So, leaving Minnewonka towards two jacks. He's just chilling at the side of the road. Yep, these guys. <laughs> it's pretty special. Don't see this don't see this very often. It's a little little babby. <laughs> Look at them, they're loving it. sound very convincing. It's two jacks by the way. Once again, stunning. <laughs> yeah, I sound kind of unimpressed. It's not that I'm not because I am certainly impressed but uh, you, you just run out of words for it so quickly. You see one thing and you go, wow, that's beautiful. And then you turn a corner, every single corner you turn, you, you end up using another adjective for how beautiful it is. Shut up, Ben. Calm. Lovely. 
as you may or may not be able to tell it's snowing and you're probably thinking hey that's nothing new you're right you know it's not but You've seen it just get heavier like that? Right? So I was literally, I was walking up the road right here and it was clear. No snow, no rain, not even a cloud in the sky really. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> it just, this flurry of snow just went <laughs> from behind me. Like someone had thrown a bucket of like, uh, someone had thrown a bucket of it at me from behind. It's just kind of come out of nowhere. <laughs> really bizarre. I've never noticed anything like that happen before. I've never, you know, I've only ever kind of noticed it gradually start to snow, just a couple of flakes before turning into kind of where it is now, right? But <laughs> never before has it been completely clear and then just gone <laughs> I just thought it was worth mentioning. I know you probably can't see me too well, which, you know, maybe for the best, some people will argue. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I guess I've got to film my wrapping up part now. Um, I just left Ben at the hostel, because uh, he goes home tomorrow. And uh, i got to work in the morning, so I don't get to see him off, which kind of sucks, but... There you go, there's not much that can be done about that. It's been a phenomenal week. Absolutely incredible. Easily, easily the best time I've had since I've been out here. I've been and done so much stuff and built so many memories. It's, it's absolutely insane. I can't really think of many more words for it. It's, it's been incredible. It's the week that I've needed for a very long time. <laughs> um, I'm so glad it's happened. I'm so happy to have him out here. I'm so glad we got to do so many amazing things. I don't think I've got the words exactly to say how much it meant to me to have him, anyone, to have someone from back home come out here and see me, it's pretty uh, it's pretty special um, even though like I always kind of said before I came out here, like I didn't really want anyone to come out here and see me for the sole fact that it's a lot of time and a lot of money for someone to spend on me and that's not really something I, f I feel too comfortable about. Ben kind of had a pass because it was his birthday yesterday, so technically he came out here for his birthday and I happened to be here. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it, it means the absolute world. It was really surreal walking into the hostel when you first got here and seeing him. It's like, wait, no, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> this is just really odd. I'm so glad and thankful and grateful that he came out. It was exactly what I needed, I think. Positive is I got a lot out of it. I had so much fun. And so did Ben as well. And that's all that matters. So yeah, I'm going to put you away now for another week or so. God knows. <laughs> and I'll... Uh, Catch you all in the next clip. Hopefully it'll be a bit brighter. <laughs> <laughs>